Peace, everyone. Welcome back to Natural Intentions Community. I am Coach Kimberly. Happy summer solstice. I am well into my summer, as you see. I got a tan and everything. I actually got a little burnt because <laughs> I was out there a little bit too long, but I hope everyone is having an awesome, amazing summer. And I hope you are actually out there getting your vitamin D. Put on your sunscreen if you are going out when the sun is really high, which would be between the times of 12 and like three o'clock. You wanna make sure you put some sunscreen on if you're just gonna be sitting in the sun or sunbathing. If not, you don't have to really worry about it too much, but get that sun. It's gonna give you plenty of good vitamin D that will carry you into the winter. Okay, let's get to our video. But before we do that, let's just do some house cleaning. Please, if you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel, share it with someone else, and make sure you like this video so I can get it out to way more people, okay? That's my purpose. That's why I'm on here is to help people who want to be helped, who are looking for help spiritually, mentally, and physically, okay? So let's get into our video today. Today is all about mind-body healing and how we can do that. Quick, simple video today. Um, I'm going to give you four ways that you can, if you're dealing with some kind of illness or health issue, um, mental issue, physical, anything physical, of course, um, you can use these four steps to help you to heal faster and to make sure that you're healing the right way, okay? And to make sure that your healing lasts, that you're not just um, starting to heal and then you're not actually getting to fully recovering. So these will be some helpful tips that will definitely help you. I know they helped me on my journey when I was dealing with my health condition and that I continue to use them so that I can stay um, healthy. So let's go into the first one. I have my book here with my notes. So the first one is going to be if you get diagnosed with something, if you come down with something, if you're told that you have something, believe in the treatment. So whatever treatment that you have, you don't have to believe. You can believe in the diagnosis that you got, but you don't have to believe in the prognosis. So that would be what the outcome of whatever it is that you have is if they tell you, oh, you're in stage four cancer or you have a disease that you're going to have for the rest of your life or you have a condition that you're never going to be able to get over. You don't have to accept that and you don't have to believe that. Now, the diagnosis is something that, OK, I accept that. Now, what am I going to do about it? So one of the things that you want to make sure that you do is believe in your treatment that you're getting. Now, for me, this would be a holistic treatment. Or for me, it was a holistic treatment. It didn't start that way. I started off doing what the doctors recommended, taking different prescriptions um, that weren't really good for me and helped me in the moment just to get over some of the symptoms. But in the long run, they were going to be really taxing on my body and breaking my body down even more than what my condition was doing. So I chose to do the holistic um I chose to go the holistic way and I'm so happy that I did because I learned so much. That's why I'm here today and I'm able to help you guys and to teach you guys some things about holistic healing and what that really means. But th the most important thing about me healing and me doing it the holistic way is believing in the treatment that I was doing for myself, believing in the herbs, believing in the diet, you know, eating more plant-based food. Um, taking the dairy and the meat and the processed foods and the sugars out of my diet. I had to believe that those things were going to work for me. Now, people have done different things, but they're and tried different diets or tried different herbs or natural treatments, but they don't really believe they're not. It's not really in their head that this is going to work for me. I'm going to heal. So that's the most important part. You have to not even believe it. You have to know it. It has to be fact for you that you are going to heal. So you can help yourself with some of that um, belief and some of that knowing with doing research. Do your research on the things that you're taking and the research on the treatment that you want to try. Um, make sure you're doing your meditation. Start visualizing yourself healed already. Start visualizing whatever's going on in your body. Go to that area in your body and, and actually visualize those cells repairing themselves. That blood cleaning itself out. So you really want to actually do those things so that you know that your body is actually healing, okay? That's number one. Number two is practice gratitude daily. Even though you're going through something, even though you're sick, 
even though something might be going on with you, still have gratitude. Wake up smiling. You know, wake up because you woke up. Woke, wake up feeling good because you woke up. You actually have another day to live, to conquer this condition that you might have or whatever it is that you might be going through. But gratitude, the more gratitude you have, that energy that you're sending out of gratitude, of thankfulness, of gratefulness, that's what the universe is going to send back to you. That's what your higher self is going to send back to you is that is gratitude is more of that but if you're walking around feeling sorry for yourself grumpy mad wondering why me then that's what you're going to get and you're not going to be giving yourself and your body a chance to actually do what it's supposed to be doing which is healing so gratitude practice it every day get a gratitude journal write down what you're grateful for i don't care if it's something as simple as i'm grateful for this food that's in front of me some people don't have food some people don't have anything to eat. Some people don't have anywhere to live. Some people don't even have an option of doing holistic healing versus going to the medical doctors. Some people don't even have that. We have options. So make sure you show your gratitude for what you do have. I promise you, it will manifest beautiful things into your life. Um, number three is going to be, be more optimistic about your life. Be more optimistic about your life. Stop looking at life like it's happening to you and know that it's just lessons. Even if you're dealing with, it's just a lesson. It's going to make you stronger. If you take this challenge and you get through this, it's going to make you stronger. It's going to make you better. Even when it seems like it's really, really bad. It, I promise you, I've been there. I've done that. I've been in those situations and it has only made me stronger, but that's because I took a different, I took a different perspective on, it. I looked at it differently. I didn't look at it like, why is it happening to me? Or, you know, I'm never going to get out of this. No, I took on the perspective of why this is happening to me for a reason. And I need to figure out what that reason is. And I need to make sure I learn the lesson so it doesn't happen again. So I'm not repeating this again. So you want to make sure you wake up, like I said, have a good outlook on life. You want to make sure that you're not, how you start your day is how your day is going to flow. So if you're waking up and you're feeling low energy and you're feeling like your day isn't going to go good, guess what? It's not going to go good. But if you're waking up and you're feeling good and you have a plan for your day, you have set intentions, you know what you're going to do for your day and you feel good from the inside out, your day is gonna flow so well. And you don't know what might show up into your day. You don't know what might show up into your life, what might manifest for you, what synchronicities and miracles could show up in your life because that's how it happens. But it only happens when we are feeling good inside. And then our last one is gonna be love. Make sure you are practicing getting into this heart chakra really in your meditations, taking time to really focus on aligning with this heart chakra. Get out of here so much and get more in here. This is where all our creativity is going to come from. This is where we're going to be confident in ourselves. We're not going to be doubting what we want to do. when We're more in the love energy. Okay, so make sure you're really, really be nice to someone today. Show someone some love. Compliment someone. Write someone a note, a nice note, telling them how you appreciate them and how you love them. But really get more into that love. Love yourself today a little bit more. What can you do for yourself? What can you say to yourself? Get in the mirror. Tell yourself that you love yourself. It's important. We have to do these things. And it truly, truly makes a difference. I know when I first started practicing self-love, and I started doing different things like using the mirror to um, just do my affirmations and to really say to myself that I love myself. At first, it was kind of corny and weird. And I'm just like, this is weird. I've never done this before. But when I really started practicing it and doing it intentionally and really meaning it, it made all the difference in the world. Like I was like, wow, that really felt good. It changed my mood. It made me vibrate higher. So make sure you do these practices. I promise you, it will change your outlook on life. And if you're if you are dealing with a health condition or if you're dealing with something going on in your life, like with your relationship ending or 
maybe losing your job or anything like this, you can use these four steps to help you through that, okay? So I will um, definitely see you guys next time. Continue to enjoy your summer. Make sure you go out and get some sun. Make sure you're staying hydrated. And I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share this with a friend. Peace and blessings.